was that they confirmed that the Nick Diaz and Robbie Lawler two fight is going to be happening. Uh, I think it was announced for UFC uh, 266 in September. And it's supposed to be a five round fight. Uh, what's your guys' thoughts on this? Definitely with, I think it being what, 17 years or so since the first one? Man, l- let me go real quick, Nigel, because I know you might have a bit to say. Uh, I'm excited for the fight. Shouts out Nick Diaz for coming back. I think Robbie Lawler's the perfect opponent to see where Nick Diaz is at. Kind of like the Misha Tate shit. Right. Um, the Diaz brothers, they get some special treatment, don't they? Yeah. How the fuck? They're not even co-main <laughs> event, and they're getting five-round <laughs> fights. And more than likely, they're going to get paid than... They'll probably, they, I won't be surprised if Nick Diaz gets the highest paycheck of that card. <laughs> so they, I, I don't know what it is about them, but they, they get special treatment <laughs> for, for guys who don't win a whole lot. <laughs> it's like, I, do you think it's, do you feel like they have just like a cult following that, Absolutely. Got, that, Absolutely. that, that pushes them to the top to that point? Cause it's like, it, cause it, I, I agree where it's like, yo, for someone, cause he's, I think it's what been five years since his last fight. I think he fought Anderson. Yeah, something something like that. Five, six years, yeah. I mean, the way I see it is, like, you know, we all saw the Nate fight. Nate was getting beat up for 24 minutes, but that one minute is what we all remember. Somehow, some way, he's still talking talking about big fights, like, in welterweight, like, like near the belt. You know what I mean? Like, think about that. That shit's crazy. Like, but regardless, this isn't about Nate. Nick Diaz, Robbie Lawler, too. I think this fight's dope, personally. I'm going to watch this shit. Like, I I think, you know, it's a good fight for both of them. I think Robbie Lawler's on his way out. I think Nick Diaz is also on his way out. Even if he goes in there and beats Robbie Lawler, he's still going to have to fight a few more people to actually be considered serious wherever he goes. But I don't think it's necessarily about that. I think Nick Diaz sees what it is. Nate's making some money. He's like, hey, I want to make some money, too. Better yet... I need a five round fight because that's just the only way I'm going to come back. And we see how long it took, you know, Nate Diaz has been rumored to come back for maybe like a year or two. Maybe Nick Diaz got what he want. Now he's coming back in here. He's fighting Robbie Lawler. I'm not mad at it. The fight means nothing, but it'll be entertaining. And I, I am waiting to see it. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Like I, I agree there where it's like this fight. It doesn't, it means nothing in terms of like, it doesn't change anything. Like the winner of this fight, does it doesn't progress uh, the winner of this fight's career. It does is actually more upside probably for Nate than it is for Robbie Lawler, just because of how long he's been out of how long he's been out of fighting, right? So just to see if he's able to still compete. But even then, it's it doesn't mean much right? at the end of the day. And I'm quite sure there are going to be some there are going to be commenters that are going to have a a, a negative review on what we have to say because. They're such diehard fans of, of the Diaz brothers. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel Fuck said em. it. Nigel said it. Not Relax relaxing and OG Jack- underscore Jackson. <laughs> Follow me and hate on me if you want. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the hill has came. <laughs> hill Jackson. <laughs> I enjoy Bro. Hill Jackson. <laughs> that's your new nickname. That's yeah. we change your, that's your, we're changing your Instagram. Man. No it's more still, relaxing anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's Hill Jackson. <laughs> you got Jesus, this, man. There's two sides to Nigel: relaxing yeah. Jackson and Hill Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> the alter ego. <laughs> but yeah, funny. um, but yeah, like I, I do think, um, I don't think anybody gets anything out of this fight other than like a fan thing because my biggest thing was when I saw that. I, from a fan fight perspective, it's exciting, but from like just a logistic, a realistic standpoint, I kind of said like, what are we doing here? Only because it's been such a, the, it's been so long since the first one, right? Of like, to me, I'm not a big fan of like rematches that are like years and years, like decades apart. Cause to me at that point, it's kind of like, we all know this is a money grab at that point, right? There's nothing else, there's nothing, because if there was a real issue, like there would be a fight. Like when you look at John Jones in DC, despite all the issues John had, DC, him and DC had to fight it out. Like they, right. they weren't gonna wait, like, okay, we fought once, we're gonna wait six or seven. Imagine if they had decided to fight now for a rematch, right? 
Like it would just have nothing to it. So I, that was my only gripe when it came to this fight. But I mean, I think for fans, like I think it's going to be an entertaining fight. Of course, I don't know what we're going to get from Nate because it's been so long. Oh. I think this fight's gonna be totally different from the first one, man. How could it not be? Like you said, seventeen years. Well, yeah. I'll put it like this: Nick Diaz and Nate. One thing you got to give both of them credit for: those guys, they stay in shape. Yeah, they True. do. They stay in shape. So I want to be surprised if I'm not coming out here and say that Nick is gonna run run all over Robbie Lawler. No, but Robbie Lawler is the type of opponent where. He's nowhere near his prime, and also it's a perfect, uh, uh it's kind of a perfect comeback fight for Nick. He's not dealing with a wrestler; he's dealing with a guy who likes to black punches with his face. A guy that he, <laughs> a guy that he's already knocked out in the past. So I, I think it's a fair. I think it's an even matchup. Hey, let's see where he goes. If he could beat Robbie Lawler, who's about in the same age group with him. And then, you know, maybe we could give Nick the Masvidal fight that some people were talking about. Maybe we could give him a fight against another solid welterweight. We're not talking about your Kobe's or anything like that. But, you know, yeah. and, and I, I, he's a Diaz brother. He's going to start angling his, his, himself to try to fight Usman. Well, yep. we, we, we know that. <laughs> yeah. but, I was going to say, I was I gonna say, say Israel. Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's going to get that. Yeah. I was about nah, to he, say he actually might get that fight if he angles enough for it. Him fighting Israel. So no, look, hear, hear me, hear come me on. out here. I'm not saying he should. I'm not saying he should, but hear me out. I'm listening. It would be easier for him to fight Israel than Usman because Israel has done a good job of beating most of the top 10 in his division. He's moving on to the, the rematches similar to Usman is, but Usman still has like one or two people that he can go ahead and fight and, you know, beat them, da-da-da. Leon, you know, probably somebody else in the top ten. I can't name anybody off the top of my head. But, like, that being said, Izzy, he's kind of already there where he can fight other people. I mean, he did move up to light, heavy, light heavyweight recently. If Nick, if Nick Diaz moves up there and says, hey, I want to fight you, why would Izzy say no to that? Only... To me, my thing is this, the only reason why Izzy would fight him would be like a, a passing of the torch fight or just like, hey, a bucket list fight more of, not even a passing of the torch. Like a money I, fight. Yeah, it, it, it would be a money fight, definitely, because of just because because we know what Nick is going to bring out in terms of fan base, right? But I, I think it's more like that's one of those fights where it's like, hey, like how Habib was running around saying like, oh, I would love to fight GSP because at that time that was... It would be a fight. It'd be a great fight to watch. And we know he's dominated. He was dominating people in his division already. But it's like, hey, we don't, we can live without this fight. Like, this doesn't do anything. This is just like, oh, you're fighting. You're the champion. You're fighting this. You, you're the champion. You defended yourself enough times where you're credible. You've went up in weight classes, didn't do well. You came back down, handled business. And now we're going to give, we're, you've done everything on the business side. So we're going to let you have your fun. Right. That's the only way I could see that fight happening between him and Nick Diaz. But like, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't be surprised if Nick uses that as a way to weasel his way into it. But I don't know. I, I think, I don't know. I think I, I feel like it just, it's one of those weird situations in certain divisions, like in Izzy's division, it's one of those weird situations. Like you said, he's cleared out the division. So he can kind of have, he, he can do whatever he wants, but as far as Nick goes, uh, Masvidal maybe, maybe a nice sprite can punch. That <laughs> like, but other than that, I'm not really, uh, I'm not too, I'm not super pressed. I'll say, uh, man, Israel just needs to focus on fighting Robert Whitaker because Robert Whitaker is is a tough t a tough rematch. And as far as Nick fucking Diaz goes, man. Like, he can beat Robbie Lawler, but honestly, there's not too many people at welterweight today he can beat. I think if he fought Leon Edwards after fighting Robbie Lawler, Leon would beat him. It, it might be a little more competitive because Nick is the better fighter between him and Nate, but and Nate would admit that too, but I just, I just don't see Nick. He has the same problems that Nate has when it comes to fighting. They fight... Nick is the better boxer, but they have problems with with people who wrestle. And the top people, the the top welterweight fighters, they're all good grapplers and wrestlers. 
they, they will never succeed against them, you know? And I think it's, if, if I was Dana White, which I'm not, and I don't want to be, but if, hey, Nick, you beat Robbie Lawler, if Masvidal hasn't decided to fight yet because he's doing these, you know, he's cherry picking fights now, Nick versus Masvidal, we could do that as a main event of a pay-per-view. We know that people are going to come out. We know people are going to buy. And that's that. But a big fight that people may going to come out and may people are going to buy. And we're also, we will be near it. We won't be attended, but we'll be near it. 